Let's take a look at our top three low cap ICOs for June. We're gonna give a short description of each project. We're gonna discuss their pros and cons and conclude each one with their hype and overall score. Here we go. Welcome to Allcoin Picks. If this is your first time here, make sure you check out our ICO and coin score sheet. We have been continuously upgrading their scoring criteria. We have added an extensive list of ICOs. I think right now it's about 70 ICOs and we're gonna be making some future videos about that exact same list. If you wanna keep updated on the progress, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We have also been very active on Twitter Discord and our Facebook group, Allcoin Picks. For those links are located on the description below. Let's get started with our quick crypto website for this video. So some of our members in our Telegram group were asking for a website where they can find all the dead coins, and this is the website to get the job done: deadcoins.com. You can find a list of all the dead coins based on deceased, hacked, scam parody the list goes on and on it there is so extensive you can even actually find a description of them and certain i guess novelties of some of these projects so keep an eye on this one deadcoins.com i'm gonna start where our low ico low cap ico for june i'm gonna start with the lowest to the highest and let's get started so for our first low cap ico for june we have DNN, Decentralized News Network. DNN is a monetized news creation platform. It is still open for whitelists, so that's a good thing because a lot of these ICOs are so difficult to get in. They have a KYC, they are not restricted to the US. And if you look at their advisors team roadmap and partnerships, they have just about average they are, though, higher in the competition ladder because they're such a niche project. If you guys want to have a, see more details about DNN, we have made an exclusive video for this. We're going to link the, the, script, the video on the description below. And what has changed since I've made the video is that DNN was pegged at 35,000 Ethereum for their hard, hard cap. And since then, Ethereum has dropped in half, lowering the hard cap to right around 19 million. So what is their pros and cons? So for pros, I've listed they are a unusual, but yet a needed concept. They have a working prototype and their team is very active in social media. And they have lots of ICO incentives. For cons, they have weak partnerships. They have a very slow revenue builder for content creators and curators, and they had a very long pre-ICO. For their hype score, they received a 69%, which is lower than I expected, but not really surprised since they had such a long pre-ICO. They have one of the largest telegram groups for any ICO that I have seen in recent times sitting at 83,000 telegram users that's so high and their Twitter followers is not even just that low either at the 23,000 they have been very active in Twitter because if you compare it with Go Network which has also massive volume on telegram and Twitter they have only done a tenth of their presence on Twitter. So that just goes to show you that they are very active on social media. That is sitting in one of my, my pros, I would, I would say so. Their overall score is 73%, which I think could have been sitting higher if they had a better roadmap that wasn't so extensive and had such large gaps. And we're gonna talk now about our next ICO. And I'm going to point out Arweave. So Arweave 
is a protocol based on a proof of access consensus that creates truly permanent data storage by rewarding the network for hosting the data and protecting it from spam. Just to point it out, the whitelist has been closed for our weave, but their list of pros and cons is quite extensive. So for the list of pros, is you'll see that their hard cap is super low at $8.7 million. Another one is that their mainnet will be launched alongside ICO and that their alpha already has been launched since November last year. You also have competitors in this space, such as storage with 8,000% gains since its ICO and made safe sitting at 4,200%, which is very significant, especially for a hard cap that is so low. I know storage and made safe have been launched far times back, but this is a very small hard cap compared to the rest that are on this list. So for their list of cons, we have a weak team with no prior experience with startups, weak advisors and a roadmap. They have high profile competitors. They have future scalability issues that are still yet unclear. And one of the things that I don't like is that they are only selling about 20% of their total supply, which is usually not very good because it seems quite centralized. And the most serious one is the whitelist is closed. So not long, let's take a look at their hype score. So they have a pretty large Telegram group and quite a decent amount of Twitter followers. And they're quite active compared to some of the other ICOs. They weren't rated by ICO drop. So that definitely hurt their score a little bit, but their hype score was still rather solid, sitting at around 73%. Their project score was 81%, and I think the combination of all factors, when you put around together their impact, their competition ladder, and all the other aspects of this ICO make this into a very great opportunity at an overall score at 78%. If you want to take a comparison in another review done by Crypto Briefly, their ICO rating was at 77%. They do go into far more details on their review, but you guys should take this review out. Just go into CryptoDefin.com and just type it in their name. This is a very low cap ICO. I do like this one. So let's look at our last, and I do think this is the best ICO of the list, Alchemist. So Alchemist is a stable coin collateralized by new assets and pegged to the US dollar. What do I like about Alchemist? First, it's a very small hard cap. So that's why it's one of the list of our top three low cap ICOs. Their white list is still open. It's not closed yet, but it hasn't been announced. So. This is one of the things you just gonna have to be waiting for it. I don't know if this will be hype enough that the whitelist will go out, but the ICO date is in June 12th. So there is a little bit of time, maybe join their Telegram or their Twitter and try to get some news about this. But here's their list of pros and cons. For pros, they're a Neo ICO. Why is it such a big deal to have a Neo ICO? Unlike Ethereum, when you apply for a ICO on the NEO platform, you actually have to pay a large sum of gas to be able to join their ICOs. And that has to be upfront, which is different from the from Ethereum. And that deters a lot of projects from listing ICOs on the NEO platform. So this is one of their pros. Second, the, their token called SDT special drawing token will be burned when redeemed mortgage NEO on their platform 
which makes this a deflationary coin, which is a big deal. If you look at any coins out there that are deflationary, they're usually gain value just based on use case. Also, they also for third pro, they might bring stability and liquidity to the NEO ecosystem since this is a NEO project for their ecosystem. And last, it's the first of its kind to be running on the NEO platform. And why is this a big deal? So you have Tether, which is a peg dollar for the entire ecosystem of crypto space. And then you have now the true US dollar and you have some exchanges that have pegged USD or yen or yuan values. But this coin will be used specifically for the NEO platform, which I actually think this is, this could be huge for the NEO platform. That's why NEO is advising this project. And this is just to show how credible this project can, can be in the short for future. For cons, they are only selling 25% of their token supply, which makes it centralized. I usually don't like that. They have no listed partners on their website. Also something I don't like, they have a huge list of investors and private investors, but not a list of partners, which actually affected their score. And they have very little to show regarding their development and updates which is one of the issues with this project. But the worst thing about this project is they have a very poor marketing. Lots of people don't even know this project is gonna be happening and how big this could be for the NEO platform. So this is a list of pros and cons. So for their hype score, unfortunately some of the data that gets pulled from some of these websites hasn't been reading an RICO score sheet. So I'm just going to take a look. So for the Twitter followers, it is about 3,200, which is not a lot. And they haven't been tweeting as much as a project that I would expect from the, uh, from a new ICO. And just this morning, the values for the overall and hype score were given an overall score at about 76%. And the funny thing is, is whenever we do these scores, we just do them right here and we just focus on all this data and if you take a look at crypto briefing their score was 75 percent which makes me believe that some of the criteria that we evaluate coins are actually quite similar this is our top low cap coins for this video what do you guys think do you really think that dnn will be able to deliver what they promise or augment will be what i expect them to be to the new platform what do you guys think about our weave and it's really really low hard cap do you guys have any other projects that you guys have been looking that you guys haven't found in this list do you have and have another low cap that you want me to chart out on our score sheet why don't you guys post a comment down below and i will take a look at that project and maybe you'll we'll make a video for the next video i will be making a video this week about low cap coins that are already listed on this market that have just not been performing because of this bear market but this is it if you guys like any other content just like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time